Today, I've got a mind-blowing lineup of artificial intelligence and biotech. We got breakthroughs going on all over the world that we should be talking about. Everything from an AI-powered arm that gives you Spidey-like powers to bioelectric robots that move on their own. We're diving deep into the cutting-edge world of cyborg tech. Dude, China's got this brain chip monkey breakthrough thing. And there's a new artificial intelligence algorithm called Sebra that can decode our thoughts. And machine learning's honing into the point where bionic arms can now actually control knives and apples and act like real arms. Did you know there's this really cool new invention and it's kind of like the iron spider suit from Spider-Man? <laughs> What did you just say? So this company that's called Jize Arms has just created a backpack with additional robotic arms. And those arms are now powered by the latest in artificial intelligence. So these robotic arms, which are called Jize Bodies, can be strapped to your back, making it super easy to do some things that you just couldn't do with two arms. But it's the advancements in AI which is starting to make this thing so cool because they move so smooth. They're sort of practical almost. And of course, even one extra arm might be both awkward and helpful at some times, but you can actually connect up to six with this backpack. And if the arms recognize they're in proximity of another arm, like another person with a backpack with more arms, they can all work together. So two people can do the work of 16 arms, four being human and the rest being robotic. And that's the kind of efficiency that even Doc Ock would understand. Now let's talk about this other mind-blowing breakthrough. And I'm talking about bioelectric robots that move completely on their own. Crazy news in the world of bioengineering. Scientists have achieved a remarkable feat by creating bioelectric robots. And they can move on their own without any additional power source. These incredible e-biobots are a fusion of biology and technology. So by combining mouse muscle tissue, a polymer skeleton, and electronics, these little guys can actually be controlled by converting radio frequency energy into light, which then activates the light sensitive muscle tissue making it contract. And these kind of advancements could revolutionize medical diagnostics and even environmental monitoring and defense systems. The combination of microelectronics with biohybrid machines for creating self-healing, learning, evolving, and communicating systems. And of course there's a bunch of challenges before we're ever we're gonna see technology like this on the market. Now I'm always fascinated by the progress that Neuralink is making, but you gotta see China's new like brain monkey interface thing. It's crazy. Chinese scientists have built a brain chip that allows monkeys to control a robotic arm. And this exciting development could help people with disabilities in the future. Okay, I'm squeamish, but here is the photo from the surgery where the monkey's getting the brain implant. So this brain chip works by using an interventional EEG sensor. So that was not brain surgery that we just saw because they didn't open up the skull, but it's under the skin still on the outside of the skull. And then the sensors pick up the signals from the brain and use it to control the arm. So the researchers say now that they've had a successful example, this is bringing them one step closer to a clinical setting and then eventually helping people with brain-related diseases. Now important to note, in America, companies like Neuralink have actually had trouble getting to this step. And not so much from a technical point of view, it's more about the animal welfare violations and the FDA rejections. Now let's talk about mind reading, mice. How a new algorithm called Zebra decodes brain signals. So there's this new machine learning algorithm called Zebra that can figure out what mice see by decoding their brain activity. This algorithm can map brain signals to specific images and even produce predict unseen movie frames from just a brain signal. After a bit of custom training on the individual, of course. Zebra can also predict arm movements in primates and accurately track a rat's position as it moves around. So Zebra works by using something called contrastive learning, which helps it find the hidden relationships and structure inside of data. So it's great at reconstructing synthetic data and different types of data. For example, movie features and brain signals. And this means it can give us some insight into how the brain processes information and might help people discover new principles in neuroscience. Science Corp is working on a special eye that can make people see again. So there's a part of the eye that's called the retina, which decodes light. And in one type of blindness, it's these cells that have died. But with Science Corp's new bionic eye, they put a small chip in the eyeball that can actually wake up some of the remaining retina cells. And then this chip is connected to glasses with a tiny little camera. The camera takes pictures of what you're looking at, and then a little computer converts them to electrical signals, sends them back into the retina. And the chip actually wakes up the cells, sends the signal into the brain, and your brain interprets it as vision. Now this bionic eye is not ready for prime time, it's still being worked on, but it could help a lot of people in the future with genetic or age-related blindness. If you thought new eyeballs were cool, what do you think about mind reading? There's a new AI that can uncover your thoughts through brain scans. 
So scientists have been working on this new technology that combines brain scanning and artificial intelligence. And it's starting to give us a glimpse of what people are thinking, for better or worse. But for some, this could be really helpful, especially people who can't speak. Right now they're using a type of brain scan called an fMRI. And an AI language model is acting as the decoder. And it's actually getting pretty good at reproducing the stories that people are either hearing or imagining without them saying it out loud. Now the decoder technology is super new and it has to be trained on each person. And of course it's not there yet, it's not perfect, it can't like transcribe every thought that you have. And in the future we might see much more portable versions of this technology. And then humans have actually built a mind reading device. So now let's talk about bioprinting and artificial intelligence and how together they're revolutionizing drug discovery. So exciting big news in the world of bioprinting and artificial intelligence. And by combining these technologies, scientists are creating high quality in vitro models called organoids. Bioprinting helps create these complex 3D structures, and the AI is there to help with standardization and quality control. Organoids can actually mimic human organ development. Plus, organoids can be customized to specific patients to make sure that everything works right for them. Artificial intelligence is helping, but the hard part is there's so much variation in different conditions. Now, bioprinting, especially something called extrusion bioprinting, solves this by providing a more controlled and automated manufacturing process. And the AI takes it even further because it gets real time feedback as it's actually bioprinting. And that feedback allows for instant and complex adjustments. And as the technology gets better, maybe one day we'll actually be bioprinting more complex diseases to test new drugs in a more accurate and efficient manner. So now let's talk about prosthetics. Check out this bionic arm that mimics natural movement. So this Esper hand is giving us a glimpse into how the future might be closer than ever. And this versatile bionic arm features touchscreen compatible fingers. Because of course, who doesn't want to do that on TikTok all day? And customizable grip options. The Esper can control system is a non-invasive brain computer interface. And that's the key to unlocking the arm's full potential. So by attaching this hand to your residual limb, the system will interpret your muscle movements and then translate them to precise hand motions. Now the Esper platform, which is their cloud-based solution, is where the arm's data goes. That's where it's gathered and the machine learning algorithm is employed. And even though it's generally good, it's about your specifics. And for each customer, the model starts to fine tune itself, learning from your unique muscle patterns and predicting your motion in various situations. Smash that subscribe button.